I ain't trying to watch some scream. Scream. Alright, let me get this set up real quick. Yo, happy Halloween, y'all. It is October 31st, and if there's anything to do on this day, it is to watch a scary movie. Now, I don't really celebrate Halloween. I never celebrated it growing up, but if you celebrate Halloween, you know, good for you. Go trick-or-treat and get some candy. Dress up. What did y'all dress up as? Now, I ain't got no candy. I, I just realized, actually, I don't have any candy. Damn, that's actually sad. <laughs> oh, damn, I just realized. But, uh, yeah, I don't have any candy. Can y'all share? I know y'all got a full bag now. I know y'all got a full bag. But uh, yes, today we are going to be watching Scream. Scream! Yes, Scream. Now, I haven't seen that one classic horror movie. I haven't seen, you know, Child's Play. I haven't seen uh, Freddy Krueger. I haven't seen Friday the 13th. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of, you know, classic films. So this is going to be cool to look into, you know, considering it is an older movie. So I'm going to see, you know, what the older, you know, Halloween movies were like. I did actually see, it wasn't the original, but I did actually see Halloween in theaters. I think it was 2018. And uh, that was pretty good. So, you know, that was my first little taste of like a slasher. You know, Michael Myers going crazy. But this is, you know, Ghostface. You know, he's about to go crazy now. I'm going to see. I, I, I watched it when I was uh, like 10, but I don't remember. That was a long time ago. But uh, yeah, I'm hyped to see what Ghostface has in store for us. You know, what kind of, you know, what kind of villain, what kind of slasher, what kind of killer he is. I'm hyped. You know, it's Halloween. You know, get the spooky vibes going. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to waste any more time. This is going to be my first time watching Scream. I'm excited. <laughs> but uh, yeah, without further ado, if you like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get into Scream. Oh yeah, but before we do, let me, let me wipe this lens off real quick. Oh my gosh, it is hard to breathe in that mask. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. Oh my gosh. I think you have the wrong number. Do I? His voice is so like his monotone like Oh and he's calling back. Don't pick don't pick it up. And of course she's gonna Hello? pick it up. I'm sorry, I guess I dialed the wrong number. Uh, so why'd you dial it again? <laughs> That's just my question. Was she making some popcorn? Ah, that's the old school way of making popcorn. I might as well make it like that one day. You know? Hello. Why don't you want to talk to me? Who is this? He calling back again? I'll tell you mine. Bro, you tell me you don't recognize that voice. So. What's that noise? Popcorn. You making Is she just casually having a conversation with him? <laughs> oh yeah, with the with the way she's moving, yeah, she's first to get up out of here. Or the guy had knives for fingers. Yeah, Freddy Krueger. Freddy, that's right. I like that movie. It was scary. Wow. Bro, she, I like how she's just casually having a conversation with some random dude that ac accidentally dialed her. Can I ask you out on a date? Oh, nah. She, no, in no way. Why do you want to know my name? Because I want to know who I'm looking at. Oh, not nah, oh. What did she say? I want to know who I'm talking to. That's not what you said. What do you think I said? See, that's why you don't have big windows like these. You got to get some curtains. 
That's a good investment. Oh, and she's go oh, I thought she was going out. That was a that was such a like a passive aggressive response. Don't hang up on me. Like she's gonna yes. keep on. I told you not to hang up on me. Look at her now. Now she's crying. Now she's stressed. Is this some kind of joke? More of a game, really. Can you handle that? Blondie. Oh nah, okay, yep. Lock. Oh, you didn't already have your doors locked? Who's there? Or else my boyfriend will be here any second and he'll be pissed. It's too late for trying to put on an act like that. No, no, it's too late. No, you, you can't take it back. <laughs> I'll kick the shit out of you! I'm too scared. I'm shaking in my boots. Bro, she's doing all this talking like you didn't make some Like, you ain't got no weapons? Steve. What is Steve. Oh, so she actually does have a boyfriend, but she lied? Bro, Steve, ain't no way you got caught lacking, bro. I'm not gonna lie, Steve, you ain't deserve this, bro. She was sitting there talking on the phone like she ain't had no boyfriend, like she had no mans. The killer in, Halloween. in Halloween? Oh, that's Michael Myers. That's easy. That's easy. Okay, I was about to say, it's like... Hey, that's just level one, though. He finna get, like... On the last card, she's probably gonna get, like, oddly specific. Wait, what? It's not. No, it's not. It was Jason Voorhees, right? Wait. Listen, it was Jason. I saw that movie 20 goddamn times. Then you should know Jason's mother, Mrs. Voorhees, was the original killer. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. <gasps> what are you finna do? Push him in the pool? <gasps> oh. Wait, how is he doing this? Where is he even at? He hasn't even showed himself once. Bro, he's gonna add some oddly specific. Oh, bro. Front door and the patio doors. If you answer correctly, you live. Bro. <laughs> now, now she, her life really depends on a 50 50. Your call. Better go with your instinct. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the popcorn. She's gonna burn her house down. Finally, you wanna grab a knife? Bro, the suspense, bro. Okay, he doesn't know where you are. Run, run, get up out of there, go. Bro, who is this? Somebody that lives with her or? Ooh. Oh my god. Nice. Okay, I forgot Steve. Yeah, yeah, Steve here. Oh no, yeah, he's dead. Never mind. Forget Steve. <laughs> go. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, these jump scares is actually crazy. Oh, and he got her. Oh, he got her. Oh, he got her. <laughs> Damn, she didn't scream or nothing. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Oh yeah. He's. Oh. Oh yeah. I know that hurt. I know that hurt. That hurt me. Bro, are they just so oblivious? Like, do they not see them? Y'all, y'all ain't got no type of peripherals. Is that her parents or something? Oh no, they are blind. Bro, their peripherals are terrible, like. Jesus. Yeah, your house is on fire. And your daughter finna die. I'm assuming this is her daughter. Who is it? Well, it's not gonna matter because you you know. You're dead. Casey. Ah, whoa, you just grabbing it like that? Like that? Aren't you not, like, supposed to do that? Like, just run it into water like that? I mean, if y'all had better peripherals, y'all probably would have been able to save her. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect this. I'm not gonna lie. This is crazy. Does, does he see her? Did you leave her out front? Oh, that is sick. Okay. No, this seems like it's gonna be pretty good. Oh, brother. Why'd you just be some guy? Or boyfriend or something? Oh my gosh, bro. Y'all gotta. Why are you sneaking around like this? Like, bro, like, make yourself known. Can you knock? I heard screaming. 
No, you didn't. No. <laughs> Hello. I'm hitting the sack. My flight leaves first thing in the morning. I can tell he's a terrible dad. It's all weekend, so I won't be back till Sunday. Is there just like a thing back then? It occurred to me that sneaking through the windows late at night. So you thought you would climb my window and we'd have a little raw footage? <laughs> no. Bro trying to film a tape. Yeah. Yeah, I have a feeling he's not gonna last long. What do you mean by that? Yo no no ghost face no, he started <laughs> He started going crazy off rip. Why her specifically though? Does he just target random people or is he like going after people specifically? Okay, okay, time's up, you stud bucket. I see what you do to me. <laughs> you know what my dad will do to you. I'm not trying to rush you at all. I was only half serious. <laughs> nah, that's Cap. Bro was trying to get some immediately, like. Hey, Billy. Billy, of course his name is Billy. <laughs> what? Bro, people gotta start closing their windows, locking their windows, locking their doors. Did news ever get out about what happened? Well, obviously. Oh, it's a small town too? Oh, that'd be the scariest thing. Authorities have yet to issue a statement, but our sources tell us that no arrest has been made. What is going on? You don't know? Becker and Steve Orris were killed last night. Why is she saying that like it's just some like light news? Like, oh my gosh, you can't believe what happened. And they're interrogating the entire school, teachers, students, janitors. Do you think it's school related? I don't know. I mean, Dylan was saying this is the worst. I want to ask like who he is, but I doubt we're going to find out this movie considering there's six of them. So, how do you even, how do you even continue your daily life like this knowing there's some mass killer out? Just want to ask you a few questions. You okay? Mm -hmm. What was this? Hey, Randy. They didn't ask me if I like that. It's because there's no easily be female. Basic instinct. That was an ice pick. And the sound of his voice, he, he don't sound, he don't sound, you know, female. Let's see, he got a voice box, you know, voice changer. Act is it takes a man to do something like that. Or a man's mentality. How do you gut someone? Why are you asking him? Like a knife. How do you know? He slid him from to I'm just kind of like it's called tax self explanatory self explanatory. This dude didn't you used to date Casey? Is that Shaggy? Two seconds before she dumped it for Steve. I thought you dumped it for me. I did, he's full of shit. It was with me last night, okay? Yeah, it was. Ooh. Was that before or after he sliced and diced? Fuck you, Nick. Yo, why is it always in these situations I always want to make jokes of shit? Like, bro, nothing is funny, bro. Like, <laughs> and y'all finna be next. Because I heard that they found her liver in the mailbox next to her spleen and her pancreas. Yo, every guy at this school just just seems like a dick, bro. Like, <laughs> liver alone. <laughs> liver alone. <laughs> oh, bro. I'd hate it here, bro. I would hate it here. I hope y'all lock y'all's doors, y'all's windows, close the curtains at night. It was a nice house. Look at the view, look at the grass. Sure you can stay over because my dad won't be back till Sunday. No problem. I'll keep your husband tight. Oh yeah, she lives alone too. Oh yeah. She the next victim. Now does he only come out during the night? I mean it would make sense that he would. But I mean, hey, you never know. You don't know who this guy is. She looks like she lived like far away from everybody, so it's like I mean that's how it was with the last girl, so it's like everybody just lived like Far apart from each other. And nighttime. Sun is setting. Scary hours. Like, who is calling this late? It's gonna be him. He's gonna. Come on now. Hello? Ooh. Okay. We're good. I just. Bro, the reflections, I'm not gonna lie. I'm on edge. <laughs> Oh my gosh. They horny, bro. It's too late for that. I was going to say she got some time, you know, for a friend to pull up, but she's stopping at the video store. Oh, that's not her. That's not her. Tatum, just get in the car. Oh my gosh. He's here. Hi. 
Who is this? You tell me. Like, bro, what? No idea. Scary night, isn't it? With the murders and all, it's like right out of a horror movie or something. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> you calling from work, PK? Don't like, do you like bro. scary movies? They just be they like. Was this just a thing back in the day? Somebody, somebody called that you don't know, and you just start having a full-on blown conversation with them. The question is, who am I? The question is, what? Where oh. Am I? Well, what are you still? Because you're a monster. Are you? Your front porch. No, that's crazy. He literally talks to his victims before he literally just does them the worst way. Like. Are you? Well, I call you bluff. Oh. Oh, she's brave. She is brave. Not even brave. She is stupid. So where are you? Right. Here. Oh my gosh. She over here investigating. She's doing all this, all that. Huh? What am I doing? He's gonna call what you. He's gonna call out what you're doing. You're gonna be scared, and you're gonna feel stupid. Nice try, Randy. I'll tell him to hurry up, okay? Bye now. If you hang up on me, you'll die just like your mother. <laughs> Uh, ooh. Oh my gosh. Nice. Nice. Get up now. Get up now. Bro, how did he get in her closet? Ah. Come on, where's her friend? Nice. Thank you. Find somebody that can fight back. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so scary. Okay. Nice. Oh my gosh, y'all. Bro, back in the day, bro, luckily we are in the age of technology that we are in now because we could just easily call up on our phone. They got us here, dial, computer, like all this extra stuff. Billy! The door's locked. I heard screaming. You alright? The killer's here. He's in the house. He's gone. He's gone. It's alright. No, you're the killer. What do you mean he's gone? Yeah, he disappeared right when you came. I don't like his vibe. Yeah, nah, I'm, I, don't, I don't like that. Oh. What is he doing? Oh my gosh. Bro. <laughs> nah, that does look crazy. You, pop, you pull up right when he leaves? But I mean, the time is kind of like a little too fast. Like Ghostface can't leave and he pull up right after that fast. He can't, you know, undress and go to the window of her bedroom. I don't know. Unless he had already left a little bit while she was. But no, she kept looking. I don't know. That's crazy. Staying with us tonight. Does mom know? Yes, doofus. Let's get you. Like for real though, like you gonna make them stay alone and make her stay alone? Like her dad's out of town. Bro, all they care about is just the story. Like, like this is not just like some little fantasy fiction story. Like, this is real life. When I say hurry. <laughs> Please interpret that as move your fat tub of lard. Oh my ass gosh! Now. Like, he does not have to do this. Oh, well, he probably does. He probably ain't got no other, no other choice. We'll find him. Do we? They got that mask on. I don't know. Like, he be popping in and out. She looks familiar. I feel like I've seen her in something. And he is giving me weird vibes. What are you doing with a cellular telephone, son? Everybody's got one, Sheriff. I didn't make those calls, I swear. Well, why don't you check the phone bill, for Christ's sake? Call Vital Phone Comp. They got the records of every number dialed. Thanks, Hank. We're on top of it. Bro. If you really didn't do it, why are you giving her those weird looks like comfort her? Yeah. Are there any more donuts in there? <laughs> Okay, I was a bit trying to be on your side, but your fat ass looking for donuts. Of Sydney Prescott. Hey, watch her, Larry. Hey, watch the hand. Don't know what you're dealing with here. Did they think they were special or something? Like, you're not gonna be able to get in it, just like every other news reporter. Sydney, come on, you know me. Sydney, look at me. Like, I get he feel betrayed, but it's like, bro, you gotta understand. You pop up just like that right after the killer left. It's like, it's not adding up. The math is not mathing. Oh. Hey, Dewey, can we go now? Hold on a second. God damn it, Dewey. <laughs> well, what did Mama tell you? When I wear this badge, you treat me like a man of the law. <laughs> Boy, but we're ready to go now, okay? Whoa. 
He's like, you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. So, so far... I was gonna say, it seems like he's only attacking girls, but he did kill Steve, so... But I feel like that's only because, like... That's her boyfriend. I don't know. There she is. Sydney! So, how's the book? Well, it'll be out later this year. Oh. I'll look for it. I'll send you a copy. Ooh! Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hit her with that clean right hook. I'll send you a copy. Bam. Bitch went down. <laughs> I'll send you a copy. Bam. Sid. Super bitch. Super bitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nah, she, she punched her so hard. Her hand hurt. I hope he still don't come. Like, hopefully, you know, being around people will, you know, keep him away. My dad? I don't think so. Not gonna lie, your dad probably dead, not gonna lie. Poor Billy boyfriend. Ah. Uh, he doesn't stand a chance with you. Leave me alone. Looks like yeah, I figured he didn't do it, but like, because the time was kind of, you know, a little, a little too fast for it to be him. Don't worry. You'll find out soon enough. I promise. Whoa. I'm not gonna lie, Ghostface is actually scary, bro. Like, before I didn't really take him seriously, you know, but now it's like, I he, he's creepy. That's good though. You know, police escort to school, and I'm assuming back staying with her friend and her mom. So how does it feel to be almost brutally butchered? Hey, hey, no, leave her alone. People want to know they have a right. To That's a crazy. Imagine that. You literally almost die, lose your life. How does it feel to be br to almost br brutally murdered? Like, bro, if you don't get that mic out my out my face. During the trial, you did all those. Stories about me, you call me a liar. I think you falsely identified him, yes. Have you talked to Cotton? Many times. And has his story changed? Not one word. Dang. He admits to having sex with your mother, but that's all. He's lying. She never would have touched him. He raped her. I'm not saying like he didn't do it, but like it's kinda hard to to, to lie and keep up with that same lie, you know? Seduced him. I saw him leave wearing it. No, you saw someone leave wearing that coat. Mm. The same someone who planted it in Cotton's car. Was it Ghostface? No. Cotton murdered my mother. You're not so sure anymore, are you? See, I know when you lie, it's kind of hard to like keep up with that lie consistently. You know, every night, like when you ask the same questions about different people on different days, that story tends to like change a little bit in certain parts. Like the main premise of the story will stay the same, but like little details. You know, kind of like start falling apart. Cause you, you can't remember it that much when, especially when you're coming up with a lie on the spot. So if she's saying his story stayed the same throughout the whole time. Still maybe. Almost, Kenny, tell me I'm dreaming. You want to go live? No, no, no. Let's go fast. We don't have anything concrete. If I'm right about this, I could save a man's life. True, but if you're wrong, you, you just look like an idiot. See, I'm. All she care about is book sales. I would have been quit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm finding another job. No, it's been a year. Tomorrow. One year tomorrow. I know what. I think it's time you got over that. I mean, when that's my mom a crazy dad, thing to ask. The way it is, she's not coming back. Bro, everybody heals differently. Not the same thing. Your mom left town. She's not lying in a coffin somewhere. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. It's dang. You really trying to compare his parents leaving? <laughs> Just that. Ah. Uh, I want my girlfriend back. Nah, bro. You just. You just trying to get a quick nut. Life is an inconvenience to you and your perfect existence. What? He doesn't like her. He likes the idea of her. Entire havoc inducing, thieving, whoring generation yeah, nah. disgusts me. Two of your fellow Whoa. students were just savagely murdered. And this is the way that you show your compassion and sensitivity, huh? Bro, watch it. Chill, bro. Like, let me show you something. You're both expelled. Yeah. That's good. Come on, Mr. Hembry. Bro, I hope they're next, bro. Ghostface, why can't you kill some people like this, man? Fairness would be to rip your insides out. Oh my gosh. I was just playing like, I don't, you know, nothing crazy like that, but they are doing too much. Yeah, you had to chill with them scissors. Like, you, you a little too close, you know, moving it. Like, like, yo, chill. She was never attacked. I think she made it all up. Why would she lie about it? For attention, the girl has some serious issues. She did it. What if Sydney killed Casey and Steve? Why would she do <laughs> Bro, these assumptions are so stupid, like. 
I'm like, well, you shouldn't be anywhere alone. There's no way he'd be able to come in the bathroom, right? Like, how would he get in? And that's just, this is not possible, right? Is he in the vent? Bro, playing Among Us. Get out the bathroom. You need to be traveling with your friend. Traveling pairs. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Uh... Oh my gosh. And of course he's going to disappear. Frank, several students were seen wearing scary masks. School officials have yet to comment, but this is known to be the same costume worn by the killer. 17-year-old Casey Becker and her boyfriend <coughs> Stephen Orth have already lost their lives. Who's next? The way they just speak about these situations is just like so like I don't know bro it's just like <laughs> everything's under control. Well of course you're here. You're not supposed to be here. I know. I should be in New York covering the Sharon Stone stalker, but who knew? <laughs> I guess I just missed you. <laughs> of course you don't look a day over twelve. Except <laughs> <laughs> A day over twelve is crazy. No, I see. Yo, this Shaggy, I don't know his real name, but this Shaggy actor, bro, he's very versatile. Hey, I tell Tana, this little vixen doesn't invite the entire world. I'm fine. Intimate gathering, intimate friends. What do you say, Sid? I mean, half this could have its perks. Totally protected. Yo, I am so buff. I got you. <laughs> Yo, you're that one couple, bro, that just be doing shit, just whatever, bro. It'll be fun. Like, look at them, like. I mean, y'all do y'all's thing. I ain't judging, but it's like. I was just finna say, is it the principal? Because the way he was acting, it's kind of like, bro. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. Because, like, the way he was moving the scissors around with, with the two boys, I'm like, I get that they shouldn't be messing around with, with the mask and stuff in the, in the school. Because that's, like, just messed up. But it's like, you a little too comfortable and a little too, like, you know? Like, chill. Did he just get scared by the mask himself? Okay, in the beginning, I was thinking, like, maybe he's just attacking the females. But let's see. Maybe, maybe he... Damn shit. Maybe not. Huh? Why is he just like Freddy Krueger? <laughs> Yo. Unless I'm bugging, but last time I checked, Freddy, you know, he got that little red sweater with the green stripes. I think it's green stripes. Yo, he keep getting scared of his reflection. He just like me seeing the reflection of all these people in these windows. Them reflections ain't no joke though. Catch you off guard if you're not really, you know. Ooh. Okay, so it's not the principal. And he doesn't just attack females. Don't freak yourself out, okay? We've got a long night ahead. Yeah. Oh, that's terrifying, bro. That's actually so creepy. If you were the only suspect in a senseless bloodbath, would you be standing in the horror section? Well, it was just a misunderstanding. I mean, he didn't do anything. You're such a little lap dog. I mean, we already know that he hasn't. I mean, it does seem like that, but there's no way he would be able to do anything. Because obviously they don't watch enough movies. This is standard horror movie stuff. Is it? Why would he want to kill his own girlfriend? There's always some stupid bullshit reason to kill your girlfriend. See? That's the beauty of it all. Simplicity. Besides, if it gets too complicated, you lose your target. Wait, like, look at the girl in the back. Like, <laughs> her reaction is literally my reaction. Everybody's a suspect! He's not wrong, though. Everybody's a suspect. Y'all suspicious. I don't know y'all. I do not know y'all. <laughs> oh. I was just finna say the same thing. I was, I was just finna get to that. Hi, Billy. Maybe your movie freak mind lost its reality button. You ever think of that? You're absolutely right. 
I'm the first to admit it. If this were a scary movie, I'd be the prime suspect. What would be your motive? It's the millennium. Motives are incidental. Millennium. Hmm. Millennium, I like that. That's good. Millennium. And you're telling me that's not a killer. That's what, I, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. The looks he be having, the looks he be giving, like just his energy, just his tone of voice, like. <laughs> like, bro. Is this. Those calls are listed to Neil Prescott, Ziggy's father. He made the calls with a cellular phone. It's been confirmed. Oh, no, 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 no. No, he didn't. Cellular could have been cloned. There's more. Guess what tomorrow is? Halloween? The anniversary oh. of his wife's death. Oh, oh, obviously. Halloween. We'll what am I talking about? effect through the night. If he's not picked up by morning, then we'll do a house to house. I feel like though, like Ghostface set him up though, like, like, cause the dad left and then Ghostface had, face had came that night. First, make sure when she was there. alone. Maybe he would. Maybe he killed him. Took his phone. Made the calls with. Him. What was that? All the calls though made. Even to the other girl that died in the in the first half. Don't let her out of your Or just sight. to Sydney. Yes, sir. A house party? Hey, now this I don't usually like parties, but in this situation, oh, I'm at I'm at every party, every party on the block. Hit me up, call my line. <laughs> hey. Nah, I feel safe here. Well, actually, never mind. I mean, they don't know that Ghostface is roaming around. In the middle of the day. But I mean, at least there's more people. So if he does come, there's no way nobody misses him. And the news reporter lady, bro. What is she doing, bro? Like, do you ever sleep? Do you mind if I join you? Not at all. I feel like, okay, oh, he, he's the killer. No, that wouldn't make sense. All right. Or maybe, maybe it's the cameraman. Nobody ever suspects the cameraman. Look at him. Look at him. Hmm. So you did. Now leave uh, Where now, Sydney? Where are you going? Okay. Okay. Never mind. I don't know. I thought she was going by herself. Hey, I'm just worried about her. You know. Can't be out here get, getting caught alone. They're putting secret cameras in here. That's actually good though. They might be able to catch who the killer is. No, 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 no. She's gonna be alone. Oh, no, no. Please, no. Please. <laughs> no, cat, kitty, I need you. <laughs> the, only, the only thing that was with her. I would have been kicking that door, banging it like, bro, let me in. Oh, she was the only one that was. Please don't tell me she's gonna die. And you open the garage? Oh yeah, just go out front, you know? Go back around. What movie is this from? I spit on your garage. Oh, you wanna play psycho killer? Can I be the helpless victim? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, let's see. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I wanna be in the sequel. That's not gonna happen. You, 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 you're not going to be in a sequel. What the hell are you doing? Uh, nice. 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 Okay, I like that. I like those out of you. <laughs> bro, as crazy and as murderous as Ghostface is, bro, he is so, like, clumsy. Look at you. Look at you. Now you're stuck. Now you're over here like, Step bro, I need some help. Like, can't get out. Oh. 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 No. I mean, I know he was already in prison, but it's like... Or not prison, but he was... You guys go up to my parents room. You know, you guys he was being held by the police, but it's like he always pops up whenever Ghostface leaves. And he still could have made the he still could have made the the call. 
in the office somewhere. He had the wire. He had the phone. The the the, the cell phone. Oh, she said she's ready now. She's trying to. I I knew he was trying to film something before. I knew it. Are you sure? I know why they really finna record a tape at this party while a killer is running around here. Y'all can't tell me though the look on his eye in his eyes and just his face doesn't give off like killer weirdo like crazy psycho psychotic vibe like there are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie okay talk to me so i so i know you can never have sex that is true though i'm not gonna lie whenever you know you try to your guard is you know down sex exists, okay well, number two you say goodbye to them or do drugs well y'all are all drinking Never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, say I'll be right back. Cause you won't. No facts. Give me another beer. You want one? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. No, he be playing. Oh, it's your time, Shaggy. It's your time. Care to join me? I'd love to, if you're sure it's all right. Uh, Ma'am, I'm the deputy of this town. <laughs> be right back. Look at him. Look at him acting big and bad. You know, around a. Me, Saw something was gonna happen around her. Good walk. Such a nice night out. I feel like he's a good my my first suspect suspicion was him, the brother, the officer. But I could be wrong. The boyfriend or the cameraman. <laughs> oh, they're leaving? She probably got pissed at me and bailed. Oh, they're leaving. No, 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 no. Where y'all going? Party's not over. This party lasts all night. <laughs> Bro. They're finna, they're finna, they're finna die. Or at least one of them. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be him, huh? Hello? Yeah? Listen up. They found Principal Henry dead. Oh, yeah. From the goalpost on the football field. They're just not. Oh, that's crazy. Hey. Celebrating is crazy. I, I, that's me. I'm closing the door. Lock it while you're at it, too. I'm trying to match up Ghostface voice with like some of these characters. See if you know, like they sound like a little bit, even like remotely close to what you know these characters sound like. I don't think you're that bad. No, no. I think that's just because you kind of like me. I mean, that too. Slow down, freeze. Go! Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yo, these kids, bro. See how finna just do it right here in in the grass in the bushes. There's a killer on the loose. I'm sorry. I'm on duty. <laughs> bro. Ain't nobody ain't nobody care, bro. Nobody's here. What you see? Is that what you're looking for? This is Neil Prescott's car. City fire? Yeah. I I knew it. I knew it. What's he doing here? Right, it's not crashed? The car's not crashed? Or he may be the killer. Why? Why her father though? What? Yeah. Like. Yeah, I'm fine. At least he's here. Okay, we know he's not the killer. But he's. I still don't like his vibe. Like he's still weird. Like he might as well be a killer too. <laughs> like put him in prison just for just for how he acts. What? Uh, well, I don't know. When you're arrested, you're allowed. One phone call, so I'm just curious. Who'd you call? Called my dad. Sheriff Burke called your dad. I saw him. I'm telling you. Yeah. But when I called, I didn't get an answer. Oh. Wait. Why am I getting deja vu? Like, I've seen this before. You still think I feel like I've seen a clip of this. You don't still think it's me, do you? I, no. I, I swear I've seen, like, a clip of this somewhere. Way to throw me off track. 
you know, using your one phone call to call me so that I wouldn't think it was you. That's all. <laughs> Look at his eyes, bro. It's him. What do I have to do to prove to you that I'm not a killer? Not act fucking weird? Huh? Like, bro, you deserve this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even. I don't even feel bad. I, I, I don't. I don't. Like, it's deserved. Maybe not deserved. Deserved is a little far, but. It'd be your own family, bro. Your own, your own pops. Be careful. He's fast. See? Come on, you gotta jump. Not jump down, but like you gotta at least like slide down, crawl down. Oh, okay, we go, we go. Exactly, exactly. Y'all got this on camera. Oh, Y'all live or not? Nah? No, nah, it's just recording. We can't hear you. Oh, you're gonna go in there? Delay. Oh yeah, I forgot the delay. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> like how are you gonna forget about the delay? Did you get stabbed in her chest or like did you just get, you know, just, just, just a little just a little slice on the on 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 the shoulder or something? Okay, it's definitely her dad then. Or no, I I, I don't I still don't think it's her dad. That doesn't make sense. I mean, I guess it does. He's the only one who, in town who, who left. Hey. What, what happened to his body? Oh, well, Ghostface was still right there. Probably disposed of it, put it up somewhere, hung it up. Okay, yeah, I knew it. I was like... Oh. He's gonna be in the passenger seat just chilling. Let's go! Oh my gosh, you can't do that, bro. Why does every character do that? <laughs> Bitch, it's on the outside. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, uh, he was on top. Joey, where are you? Bro, this town can't catch a break. Sydney? Nope, and he's going he's gonna be behind you. Yep, uh he already got to him. Really? Well if his knife is in his back, that that means he doesn't have another one. Oh, he just grabbed it. You you're too slow. You got the back doors? Oh, this is this is crazy. As long as you stay in the car, you'll be good, right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, now you gotta play, you know, whack-a-mole, you know, gotta knock all, knock all the locks down. Ah, the trunk, the trunk, the trunk. Bro, her plot armor going crazy right now. Her plot armor is cooking. Bro, why did he act like that the whole movie, though? Like, he's so, like, s suspicious, like... You weird. Snooze flipped out. He's gone mad. See, look at him. Look. No, really. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. No, no regular person just looks the way he looks. Anthony Perkins, psycho. No, you are psycho. Like, bro, I'm, my thing is stuck. Mm. Oh, what? Use for pig's blood and carry. Oh, there's multiple of them. Surprise, Sydney. Oh, so he's Ghostface? What? I'm not surprised about him, but I'm surprised about the other dude, about Shaggy. Why are you doing this? Don't play the game, Sydney. It's called Guess How I'm Gonna Die! Fuck you! 
Wow. Oh, I see. So obviously one of them is in the costume, the other makes the calls. That's how like they were supposed to be able to get in and out. I don't really believe in motive, Sid. I mean, did Norman Bates have a motive? So you're doing this for no apparent reason? See, it's a lot scarier when there's no motive, Sid. It it is. Did your mom a favor, Sid. That woman was a slut bag whore who flashed her shit all over town like she was Sharon Stone or something. Yeah, but Oh no, y'all gotta go. Mother was no Sharon Stone. Hmm? Bro, somebody's gotta show up like you are now. Secret mother was fucking my father. And she's the reason my mom moved out and abandoned me. Oh uh, that's his motive. How's that for a motive? It's not a good motive, or no motive is, you know. Up now, you're no longer a virgin. <laughs> wow. Imagine that. See, that's why you can't just trust anybody. Don't gave her gave her virginity to a, to a murderer. We killed her exactly one year ago today. <laughs> Attention. Oh, what are we her dad. I knew it. I knew it couldn't have been her dad. Cause I was like, he left, and oh, now he's just all of a sudden gone. But it didn't seem like the disappearance of like, oh, he's the killer. It was like a, oh yeah, he's gone. Like, got the ending figured out yet, Sid? Come on, I thought they would have killed him you though. Think about it now, huh? Your daddy's the chief suspect. You phone the cellular. Evidence is all right there, baby. What if your father snapped? Your mother's anniversary set him off, and he went on a murder spree, killing everyone except for Billy and me. We were left for dead. Then he kills you and shoots himself in the head. Perfect ending. Movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. Stop it, Billy. We're not all right. I can't take anymore. Uh, Houston, we we have a problem. Y'all deserve to be locked up. Like, what? Death is too easy God, for y'all. I the gun. I put it right there. Right there. Where the fuck is it? What are they looking for? Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Stumbles too. Stumbles on you two dipshits. Finds the gun. Why well, is it feeling like your plan and saves the day? Ghostface isn't one of the are no gotta be right. I like that ending. I know something you don't. Ah. Uh... Sydney and her dad. Let's go. I don't know, Billy, but I'm hurt, man. We were stabbed like three times, bro. It's like, what do you expect? Hello? Are you alone in the house? Bitch! You bitch! Where the fuck are you? Hey. So she got the little thing. It's cold. Guess who just called the police and reported you? Sorry, motherfucking ass! Yes, sir. Whoo! How the tables have turned. Billy, are you coming, dude? I think I'm dying here, man. Please don't tell me she's in there. Oh, it's gotta be the TV, right? Yeah. Oh, let's go. Oh, nah. She even put the costume on. Nice. I like those out of you. Bitch, might want to hurry up and take that off before the cops get here. Nice. There's no way he can do anything though. Bro, how is he still alive? Ain't no way he ain't. Can I always have a thing for you, Sid? Oh. Nice. In your dream. Oh, yep. Now you're really. Oh, yeah. He's going outside. Deserved. Deserved. Deserved, though. I mean, to be fair, to be honest, like. What are the cops going to think when she get when they when they get here? Like, how do you even explain all of this? I'm oh, y'all got to stop doing that. I probably should be. I never thought I'd be so happy to be a virgin. Oh, my gosh, bro. What is going on? How do they keep coming back up? Like, wasn't he just stabbed with impaled with an umbrella twice? All in the... 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. One more time, one more time, please. Bro, there's no way somebody's le like surviving that many stabs with not only a knife, but impale impaled by an umbrella like that many times. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life for one last scare. <laughs> my movie. Oh my gosh, bro. Dad. Y'all, y'all got, yo, y'all gotta stop doing stuff like this. Exclusive eyewitness account of this amazing breaking story. There is nothing amazing about this. Bringing to an end the harrowing mystery of the mass killings that have terrified this peaceful community, like the plot of some scary movie. It all began with the scream over 911. Wait a minute, though. How was there more scream movies if they were caught? There's got to be that they, like I said, there has been a third, right? Who was the one that was actually behind the mask? And those are like just the two pawns. Right? Because there's no way. Unless Ghostface is multiple people. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what I expected. This is a horror movie. What did I think was going to happen? What did I think was like... What did I think this was? Like just some sweet, like, you know... PG-13 movie? Like, this movie is literally rated R. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> My heart is still beating. If y'all could be out here. Probably not, but... Y'all... <laughs> I should not have jumped that many times. These jump scares were actually really good. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie. This was fire. This was actually really fire. It makes me want to watch the rest of the series. Because I did not think that this was gonna be like this. I didn't think that Ghostface... I don't know why, but like, for this whole time... Like, I, I, I never took Ghostface seriously. I was like, oh yeah, he's just... Yeah, Ghostface, he seemed cool and everything. Like, like not like cool as in like, oh yeah, like cool, but like, I don't know. He just seemed like one of like the, the better, like, uh, you know, killers out of all like the slasher movies, you know, like Jason, you know, Freddy and all them. But like, this, this, this got me. I'm not gonna lie. This actually scared me so many times. Like, and just all the, uh, like, all the people that would just pop up out of nowhere. Like, bro, y'all know there's a killer on the loose. Why do y'all keep doing this? But, oh my gosh, yo, this was actually really fire. I actually did really enjoy this, man. This was so good. I did not expect Shaggy at the end, though. I'm not gonna lie. I did expect the boyfriend, like, like, you can't tell me the faces he was making throughout the whole series, or not series, throughout the whole movie. Like, no normal person does that. Like, you, you are suspicious. Like you are, like even if he wasn't the killer, the one that were doing was doing all these killings, he's some type of like psych psychotic guy. Like, no, nobody just does those facial expressions, makes those you no know, evil evil looks. Come on now. So like, I kind of like you know, feel like it was him from the jump, especially especially when I like, I didn't think though I didn't think that there would be two people involved, which makes sense now looking back at the first time they attacked Sydney in her house when it was dark. And she was home alone when her dad left that night or that day and she was alone that night but she literally was locked in the room old dude came through the window then billy was obviously dressed as you know in the ghost face costume trying to get to her and he came through the window so it wouldn't seem like it was him and i'm like that's a little too fast of a t of timing like you come right when he leaves like nah that's suspicious let me catch my breath. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, this was good though. This was good. I'm I I'm confused at how like the rest of these movies are gonna work since those two are dead. Like there's no way they come back. He was shot literally in his head. He was shot in his chest, in his head. He was stabbed multiple times. Shaggy was stabbed multiple times. And he and he was impaled by not Shaggy, but the other dude, he was impaled by a, a, a umbrella. So there's no way he can come back. There's no way. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this was good though. I actually really did enjoy this. Like just the thrill, just the suspense and ah. Uh, my heart, bro. My heart, my heart, my heart couldn't take any more scares, bro. And that end that end was almost the end for me. Like, nah, but bro. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo. This was good though. This was this was good. I actually really did enjoy this. It's not what I expected at all. I don't know what I expected. But you know, it, it's horror, it's rated R. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but uh yeah, that's gonna be all for this reaction, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, really appreciate it. Y'all can go check out the Patreon for full length reactions to all my videos. This will be on the Patreon. And uh yeah, let me know if I should react to the entirety of this Scream series all the way up until you know Scream 6. I think the last one that they're gonna make is Scream 7. So, you know, if y'all would like me to react to all these, I will. Get into it, get into the lore, ghost face. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm taking this costume back to my brother because this I'm not keeping this in my room. Like this is not staying here. Like this dude is crazy. Like he is crazy. Like no. <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all for watching, and I'll catch y'all in my next video. Peace.